Hello, this is Mr. Dunaway, and this is a video series on creating and editing tables in Microsoft Word. There are a lot of really cool stuff uh, that we can do with tables in Word, and I'm going to try to keep the video moving for you. So the first thing you need to do is open a new document in Microsoft Word and go to Save As and go to your H drive. I'm using a different drive, but you should have your H drive on the left side under this PC, um, and you should have a folder that says Word in your intro um, to computers uh, file and if you would name it with your name and then say table assignment one hit save and if it's done correctly you'll see it at the top of the screen it should have your name table assignment one with Word afterwards. Alright so we are going to create uh, a document um, by first I want you to type this table is a record of video game console sales and we are going to organize some data in a table that shows uh, what the most popular video game consoles are at least over the past uh, four years and there are several ways to insert a table now let me give you a fair warning that tables can be a little tricky so uh, we may have to search around for some things as we're going here, but I will try to uh, keep it quick and concise. The first thing to understand is there's several different ways to make a table. Uh, one, uh, the easiest way is to use just this little matrix of squares, where as you uh, drag the mouse around, the dimensions uh, in the box are created within your document. Another one is to click on Insert Table, and you can actually manually put in the uh, dimensions that you want if they don't fit on this particular matrix and you can also use a quick table uh, method which we're not going to do that just yet we are going to do the uh, easy way where we just draw uh, the mouse over you don't have to click anything yet I want you to go over five squares and down three squares and just click it and there you'll have a table five by three and in the first box your mouse should be in the first box if you would type the word console that is the type of video game machine that we will uh, be looking at. And the, then hit the tab button. When you hit tab, it'll bounce over to the right. If it does not tab over, just take your mouse and click in there. Hit tab again and put 2016 next, 2017, and 2018. Typically in a table, the top row is kind of your header that has uh, the data that you're going to be uh, displaying. And then under uh, console, we will have, uh, let's say, Xbox One. I'll just do the number one here and then um, click in the box underneath it and put uh, Nintendo. I'll do in switch there and uh, you'll have that. And then uh, the first thing I want to show you is that uh, it's really easy with a table to insert a row. For example, I actually left one out that I was going to display. Uh, the PS4 is a really popular one, so I wanted to actually add a row here, and that's the first thing that you'll need to be able to do. The easiest way to add a row, it's really cool, if you just take your mouse, okay, and I want to put it in between console and Xbox, and if you hover the mouse just uh, to the left of that box, there's a plus sign, and you click plus, boom, it'll insert a row for you. So if you would do that, and then type PS4, and now we're going to input some data. Okay, to input some data, I'm going to click into this box right here under 2015, and I'm going to input 7, 212,320. 7,212,320. That's how many PS4s were sold in 2015. And if I hit tab, that will take me to 2016, and I'm going to type in 6, 87. 4,757. Now I'm going to just continue putting in the data. When you, you can tab to the right, and then you'll need to click down here when you get that. I'm going to pause the video and just fill it, so it, uh, you can pause the video and do it at your own speed. So the uh, new data is coming in in just a second right here. And there you have it. This is the data that I have. Um, I just got this off a of website. I don't know how accurate it is. I'm assuming it's uh, fairly accurate. And the Nintendo Switch, you'll notice the Nintendo Switch uh, had no data in that 
cell, and I believe that's because it didn't exist. Now, I, I think I see a mistake here, so I have to double check a number here, uh, and I will figure this out. And I found the problem. If you notice the Nintendo Switch 2018, that number is not right. I just uh, had a copy-paste error. So here's a nice lesson for us. To edit what's in the table, all you have to do is click and drag over that. That number should be 6, 789. And there it is. 6789112. All right, so it's easy to insert or edit data just by clicking into the box that you want to click in. That's a pretty simple lesson to have. All right, uh, some formatting things. If you want uh, to change let's say the the header row there that that needs to be kind of formatted differently so it stands out so if you click and drag over just that row you can do any of the formatting just like we would do in Microsoft Word for example bold so why don't you go ahead and bold that and let's do the same to the column on the left as that is the uh, the name of the consoles that we are are looking at here so go ahead and do that bolding there and then another thing we can do is we can manipulate the size of the rows, and that's kind of nice to know if you want wanted to change the size of them. Um, we don't really need to yet in this uh, in this table, but uh, you just need to know. All you have to do is get the mouse to where it changes, like right there. You click and you can drag to automatically format the size of those columns, and you can do the same thing with the size of rows if you wanted to by clicking and dragging on those. And if you want to get it back, Control Z will always take it backwards to where it was. So make sure you uh, are comfortable resizing things as you go. Now one thing I might want to do on a table like this is, um, is let's do one other thing before I go. Let's highlight that again. Click and drag that and let's center it since that's kind of my, uh, again, my header table uh, row. Let's have that in the middle. And I think I would like to insert a row up Above this row so that's easy to do you just do a right click there go down to insert and click insert row above and let's type in video in all caps game sales now this is going to be like a title over uh, the header and we're going to make it look really cool here in a second now I'm going to show you a feature here um, that is really important that uh, you understand, and that is merging cells. It's really simple to do. Basically, what I want, I want this video game sales to be at just one row above this table. You see right now it's five like the other ones. So it's really simple to do if you click and drag and select the whole row. Now, one thing you'll notice, if you look up here, it says Table Tools. We have two new uh, buttons. Uh, design and layout even though we have a design and layout over here this is design and layout specifically referring to the table okay so if we click on design we have some things that we could do I'll show you a little bit later and if we click on layout we can do a lot of interesting things with this uh, with that cell that we have selected so what I want to do is I want to merge I want to merge these cells which means combine them into one so it takes what I highlighted and you just go right here merge cells click and there it is. It changed that row into just one big cell. Now it will only change the cells that you have selected. So you could have just selected two cells uh, or three cells to do that. And another cool thing that we can do uh, is we can color these. We can we can create uh, really cool um, designs and make it look really professional. And I believe that is under, uh, let's try the home button. Yeah, go to the home button highlight that top row and go to the paint bucket it's right in the middle and let's select a color and i like it to be bright and really stand out and there we have video game sales now we've really made that chart look uh, a little nicer and we let's also take this and let's maybe get a bigger and uh, font for that uh, particular uh, row and i'm even going to increase the size of that font so maybe like 18. All right, so there are video game sales there. So go ahead and uh, do that along with me before you go on. And I am almost out of time for this video. So um, before you go on to the video, make sure that your document looks uh, exactly like mine. Have all that data input in there. And then I will show you some more of the cool features uh, following this.